Hello students, my name is Dr. Praveen Tripathi. I'm a faculty of psychiatry and the author of the book Review of Psychiatry. Uh, we are about to enter the month of August, which means that we are past the halfway mark as far as our preparation is concerned. So we have like five months in front of us. And this video is all about how to use those five months to the best of our capabilities. So the first thing that we need to do is to assess where we stand today. Uh, I would suggest that you take out a uh, piece of paper and jot down on that piece of paper what are the subjects that you have completed what are the subjects that are still remaining and what are the areas where you find yourself pretty weak now students uh, some of you must have already finished the first reading you must be uh, you must have started the second reading others uh, might uh, still be struggling with the completion of the first read and there would be a good number of students who have yet not gotten into the flow the important thing is irrespective of whether you belong to the first category, second category or the third category, there is no need to panic. In the last six, seven years, I have seen and most of the teachers have seen so many students who start late but end up with great results. So even if you are late with your preparation, even if you have just started, trust me, you have got enough time to finish it off. Students, when we talk about the preparation of an exam like NEET or for that matter, even AIMS, we need to study very smartly. Hard work alone would not get us through. The reason is pretty simple. It is humanly impossible to complete 19 subjects in a span of 9 to 10 months. I mean, it's a humongous task and rarely anybody can uh, accomplish that. So that is why we keep on telling that hard work is of course necessary. Everybody does hard work, but you'll have to add, uh, you'll have to add smart work to the hard work. You need to plan your preparation very intelligently, very smartly. So make a realistic plan. I am all for conceptual learning. I love concepts. I love when I teach by building blocks. I love when I, when I'm able to go deep into the concepts and I love it when we read with the standard books like Harrison's or Bailey or Kaplan's Sadox Synopsis of Psychiatry. The problem is the resources that we have in our hand are limited. What are the resources am I talking about? The time. How much time do you have? You can study for max 10, 11, 12 hours a day and you've got like five months. So the resource is limited and in comparison to that resource, the task is huge, humongous. That is why we need to plan very smartly how are we going to go ahead with our preparation. I would rather like that you complete 85% of your course but revise it thrice, then you finish 100% of your course and you are not able to revise it even once, right? So focusing on the important topics, focusing on the topics that have been repeatedly asked, focusing on the topics that are high yield should be on the priority. Top priority should be finishing those topics. I would suggest that you pick the course content in such a way that in the next five months, you give around say two to three months for first revision and the remaining one to two months for the second revision. This is uh, assuming that you have, fin uh, you have completed one reading of all the subjects. If that is not the case, there is no reason to panic as I said earlier. Uh, still, if you give it two reads, things would go into the memory, you would be able to answer most of the questions. So picking the content is extremely important, as important as putting up long hours in the study room or the reading room. The next thing is, there is no time for gossip. Whether neat exam would be conducted, whether next exam would be conducted, what would be the format of exam. Thousands of people are talking about thousands of things and it's pure gossip, right? You do not have time to waste. More importantly, even if you talk about these things for one hour, you end up staying distracted for the next three to four hours. So, so the uh, ill effect gets compounded, the ill effects of the gossiping gets compounded. Stay away from the people who are trying to have fun uh, talking about these irrelevant things. Next thing is students, prepare, preparing for an entrance exam is no easy task. Let us accept it, right? It is uh, difficult, 
it is difficult to put long long hours at times it is frustrating at times it is depressing and it is very important to accept that there would be good days and there would be bad days i i often use that analogy from the cricket that when a player is playing on a difficult pitch where there is a lot of sea movement a lot of bounce movement on that day he has to just survive similarly if you are having a bad day where you are not able to concentrate still you have to sit and ensure that you get something out of that day and we keep on telling this thing to almost every student we made that keep on taking regular breaks regular breaks ensure that you are refreshed and good to go finally students over the years after teaching thousands of students i have come to realize one thing that entrance examination do not test only your knowledge it equally tests your composure it equally tests your personality it equally tests your mental strength i have seen so many students who are doing great for the first 5 months or 6 months but then suddenly they become completely disappointed and they stop studying they are like sir it's impossible i cannot finish the course i cannot study at all and then they of course are not able to clear the exams and then there are people who are slow to start with who study in spurts later on get into the rhythm and continue to study till the last day of the exam these are the students who more often than not get selected it is extremely important to study till the last day do not give up remember it is a tough exam everybody will have bad days everybody will have days when they will feel overwhelmed and when you will feel like you know just giving it up and it's a good thing because most of the students end up giving up whereas a couple of them a few of them a few percentage of minority of them are able to hold themselves up and are able to take the battle to the last point and these are the students who clear the exam so no matter how bad you feel how disappointed you feel how frustrated you feel you have to continue studying because students this is not just an exam this exam will make your career it will be the difference between becoming a medical officer and becoming a specialist and you will carry the difference for the rest of your life so this is the time when we put our best fight when we put our best foot forward when we perform to the best of our capabilities i am sure all of you would take this advice in the right spirit and take your preparation to the next level i want to wish you the best of the luck and i'm sure that most of you would get the seat of your choice in the college of your choice thank you god bless